Hi, this is Miss D at these special things. I uh, did a swap with Leah um, T. Cordell 236, and she made some flowers that Q, uh, Susie Q Crafter, no, Susie Q Craft 321, 321, yeah, I think that's it, taught her uh, to make, and um, I had asked for the tutorial, but once she had mentioned how she did it. I remembered um, quite a few people doing that tutorial. So I just searched for it and I found... Um, no, I had it in my favorite. I had one in my favorites. But once I started doing it, I remembered years ago us doing it. This is the way that... Um, and I just made this... Uh, which column come off? This is the way that... Jennings 644 taught you how to make it and you use fabric and you cut like a little less than two inches folded in half and then you actually uh, use a straight stitch and you zigzagged it down the a running stitch you just zigzagged it down the length of the uh, fabric and then you gathered it and you this is how you come up with the flower I did these and I actually used uh, fabric satin fabric aren't these cute though and this one and I, I used fabric but when I put the flower together I used little this is the paper bag ladies doilies and um, some bling that I got from probably Alvenia um, yeah, and then this is some patterned pattern fabric that I had, and I used that. And this is a doily that I got from Alvenia, and the bling, and yeah, the fabric. That's it right there. And this is the same fabric, a different color. And I got the fabric from Joann's. Um, yeah, when they had their sale. But I remembered making it years before that and it made me remember why I had all this 7 8 inch uh, satin ribbon yeah because years ago I think it was Sawcrafter who taught this tutorial and showed how to use ribbon and I purchased all this ribbon my intention was to make these flowers but what you do the same stitch it was the exact same pattern but you use uh, ribbon this ribbon I ended up purchasing the ribbon somebody had showed where they were getting five yards of a roll for a little or nothing so I purchased this stuff I think I got three of each color that they had I had loads I have loads of this ribbon but anyway you do the straight stitch and you zigzag it down the length of the ribbon and you gather it same concept and these are the flowers that I made so I these are the flowers aren't those pretty this center Albania made um, with bees isn't that pretty so I said I was going to make some of these I decided to use the flower because I have to find my silver pieces that I can put on top of these if I don't find them soon I'll just go ahead and order me some but isn't that pretty and here's another one and some of them came out walky because I I don't know what I did with them but I'm making loads of them so I'll experiment with them these are two pieces of this is a piece of the ribbon this is the piece of the satin fabric so I just put them together because I had a smaller piece left and that's the results that you get I put a little button on the top of it and this is a blue one and I put one of those um, pieces on top uh, used uh, this is the paper bag lady doily the little teeny ones they are so cute yeah and you can add any kind of your embellishments that you want um, to these but yeah they are I remember wanting to make them but they are super easy to make uh, Q uh, 
Leah, thanks for the reminder. Um, Leah did say that Q was going to make a tutorial. I'm not certain that her tutorial will be the same because I don't know what technique she used to make hers. I just wanted to show you the technique that I used to make mine. It was out there already. I didn't come up with it. I uh, merely used a tutorial that someone else had out there. But for all of them, I just um, punched a bunch of circles for the backs of them. Yeah. And uh, put them on the back. Oops, yeah. Let me always have my my glue gun uh, plugged in sometimes I forget to unplug the thing yeah but uh, that's pretty much how I made my flowers so I'm going to make me a batch of them so that I could use them in my little embellied packets and my little gifts and stuff that I send to people so that I would have them uh, readily available and on hand and that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you how I had fun with these yesterday. Um, I just wanted to show you all how I made mine because uh, some people ask about a tutorial. And I think uh, Q said she was going to make some. I didn't want to wait for her tutorial. I wanted to make them right then. I was so excited about them. Yeah, um, because the ones that Leah sent me, she sent me a batch of them in a swap. They were so cute. I was like, oh my gosh. I really wanted to make my own and put my own spin on them. So yeah, I went ahead and, and located my uh, tutorial that I had. So that's it for right now. Thanks everyone for watching and talk to you later. Bye-bye.